Hello, and welcome to another episode of Boxing with Paul. Today, I'm very excited to bring you guys another case from Ghost Tech. Um, again, this is a brand new company that I'm starting to cover. Uh, again, which I am very, very excited for, for a few reasons. Number one, they're very, very transparent about their case materials and their case construction. And number two, they're based out of the US. You don't usually have that. And um, let's take a look at it. unboxings in particular this one there is absolutely nothing that i don't love about this packaging from the clear little window lets you see the actual product to the metallic font that reflects in the light to the little metallic window that you flip it open to see more details of the case on the inside in addition to that also this little holographic sticker at the top it lets you know that i like trading cards I'm a huge fan of this packaging. And also something that I hadn't noticed in the previous case, it looks like there's some sort of recurring comic book theme going along, not just the spine, but also the back. I, I really haven't really made out what it was. Um, there's just really, really small bits and pieces. Uh, there's some uh, Greek alphabet names over here, Epposan. Uh, I, I can't really tell what it is, but it's pretty cool. It's pretty nifty. You don't usually see that in, you know, the majority of packaging, you know, not to name drop a few other companies, poetic, but sometimes you can be really drab with your packaging and sometimes you can be really, really cool and really nifty outside the box, you know, like this definitely, definitely, definitely catches the eye. Something that I'm really liking about these gold star cases is the QR code in the back that redirects you to a video that tells you how to install the case and it tells you a few little nifty features about your case that you're buying. Um, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. When you open the little flap, it tells you that the case stand is also a swivel holster. So swivel kick stand holster. All right, let's go ahead and find out. Um, again, loving that little magnetic clasp. It, it really doesn't cost much and it just, it just makes such a huge difference in the unboxing experience. You know, again, I'm a huge fan of good packaging. Let's go ahead and slide it open. Let's go ahead and put the case aside. It's the last thing we're gonna look at. Yeah, it's the I love looking at everything else. Side, it looks like we got Ghost Sex uh, logo into a sticker, which is matte to help build brand loyalty, along with, uh, again, Scan me for instructions, QR code. Very cool. Now the case itself, oh, this is slim. This is, here's the phone in comparison. Usually cases that have a bell clip are really, really bulky. This is somehow thin. All right. Set this aside and Oh, it looks like this does not come apart. Oh, because, okay, I see, I see now. Okay, okay, fine, fine. We're, gonna, we're gonna let that be. So this here in the back is a polycarbonate and I'm also going to guess that this over here is a thermoplastic polyurethane. 
Um, polycarbon in the bag to give you that nice clear finish while also being uh, impact and abrasion resistant. And on the inside, that thermoplastic polyurethane to give you that impact resistance, that cushioning on the inside without being too hard and too abrasive. Let's go ahead and pop our phone in there. Very nice, snug fit. Um, here. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that, but that is the clickiness of the buttons. Um, not quite as clicky as on the other case, but definitely still quite reachable. They are not inaccessible just because they are covered. Something that's a huge concern of mine uh, with really good quality cases or really sturdy cases, those really rugged ones, is that usually uh, your phone is going to be very well protected, but that's sometimes at the cost of mobility, of accessibility, and sometimes they're just getting your way. Um, it looks like that's not the case here. Also, the front of our phone is completely free of the case. It's not getting in its way in any way, shape, or form. Uh, the speaker phone on the top is, again, not obstructed at all. Neither is the camera. If we look at the top, also our headphone jack and our pinhole microphone are not obstructed. They are very nicely slotted in place. And this time around, we see that for the pinhole microphone, it is dead center as well. Let's go see if that's the case along the bottom. And it looks like, yes, that is also the case here along the bottom, that pinhole microphone is dead center in the middle. And we also have our hole for our micro USB cable that is used for charging and data transfer. Now, the main thing about this case is that obviously, of course, it comes with not only a kickstand, a belt holster, but it has a slot for you to store your credit cards in. So with that slot to store it in your credit cards, I'm gonna guess that it only fits one. Yeah, I figured. So I figured it would only fit one as it is quite, quite slim. The case itself is already quite slim and I would not try to put two, two um, credit cards in there because they are not gonna fit. And even this one is gonna have a, a bit of a hard time coming out as um, it is quite thick. And it is a uh, sticky, not sticky, but it is kind of a bit of a, you know, non-slippery thermoplastic polyurethane on the back. And that's not bad, actually. Um, again, you don't want it to be loose because you don't want your car to fly out. You know, that's actually pretty good. Um, I, I was about to start talking smack and saying that, and this thing is impossible to get out. Well, you, no, duh. You don't want it to be easy to get out, you know? You want it to have some resistance in there um, to where maybe somebody tries to take something out, you know, tries to take your credit card out of here. This way, at least, um, you know it's not going to go anywhere. And, I mean, if you don't shove it all the way in there, I guess it's relatively easy to get out. Let's try that one more time. Um, it's not quite it all the way in there like that, I guess, to where it's still not in your way. Um, that makes it a little bit easier to get out. There we go. I'd say that's, I'd say that's actually pretty useful. Um, most of us actually don't really carry around credit cards. And if you do, the one you use around pretty much, or maybe your ID actually could be pretty good on there, as most of us will actually load our credit cards into either Google Wallet or Apple Pay. Uh, let's go ahead and continue with it. I'm a fan of this little kickstand. Let's find out. Okay. So you can put it sideways that or can you stand it up yes so you could also stand it up front you know um vertically sorry what am i 12 um you can also stand up vertically <laughs> uh let's see i mean this actually looks i hate to be this rude and i hate to be this disrespectful but let's see what happens when it falls off uh, the table actually because um, it's it's very likely that you could be watching your videos um, and I don't know if something happens and you accidentally bump the table or something happens to knock it over um, okay well it didn't break immediately but we do have a slight bend right there um, let's see can we get it to retract and work as normal um, okay, we got it to retract and work as normal. Let's see if it works uh, as normal again. Let's see if it will stand up. Okay, still 
Santa. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 So normally things like these break. They 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 just fall apart. Um, and it looks like this one bent instead of breaking. That's that's huge. Uh, just for scientific purposes, let's go ahead and drop it one more time. Let's see if it survives another drop. I would be really, really impressed if it survives another drop, which may very well happen during its lifetime. Um, it looks like, again, just a slight bend. Uh, and it looks like it survived. Holy cow. <laughs> um, it looks like I was mistaken earlier. It does not come with a screen protector, but um, I'm a fan. It... I mean, the, the kickstand definitely survived the, the drop test and it doesn't feel like it's gonna break. Again, it, it bent, it flexed. And again, it did bend and it flexed, but it did not break. I'm impressed, okay. All right, okay. This is okay. This is good, this is good. And um, yeah, let's go and fix that up. That's pretty good. All right, so now it's gonna continue with uh, the belt clip. And I'm not worried about, so I will unfortunately not be able to demonstrate its belt equipping capabilities for you guys. Um, this is just not gonna do it justice, but the belt clip itself also has a kickstand. Um, but okay, you still have a kickstand with the belt clip, you know, which you don't have to use, but it's definitely an extra layer of protection if your phone were to be dropped. Um, and I mean, it seems okay. Um, I feel like these drop tests that I am conducting are not very scientific at all, but usually, you know, if something is gonna break, it usually tends to break right away. It tends to break the first try, the first time out. Um, let's do, I know this is not scientific at all, but I mean, it looks good. This little scuffing here at the top from the impact, definitely, but it did not fall apart. It didn't go flying. Um, also did not come apart and go flying. So I'm gonna to have to get definitely some, uh, something else to be able to measure or to be able to gauge just how impact resistant these are. So I'm a fan of the fact that you can get this for $24.98 at normal, you know, it's on sale right now, but it's for retail prices, $24.98, right? Normally that's what you would pay for just for a case in itself. Now a case with a little kickstand or a little wallet built in, it's gonna cost you $29.99. Now, if you add in also a belt clip, you're probably looking at $39.99 at the majority of stores. You know, um, I think it's a pretty good deal. I'm gonna go ahead and try to see if there's something else, some other deals that I can find that are similar to this. And yes, I have seen definitely other cases where you're gonna tell me that, yes, you're gonna show me a screenshot of something you can see cheaper on Amazon. Usually those things aren't quite as nice. They're not usually quite as polished as this. I didn't feel any rough edges around this. I have worked in manufacturing. I have worked in uh, plastic molding. I, I can tell when people put a little bit of love. I can tell when people are lazy. I can tell when people are kind of burnt out. And from what I can tell, for the majority, for the most part, like 99 out of 100, this was made with love, I'm gonna say. And if not love, it was made with a lot of dedication, a lot of attention. Um, because there's a lot of things that can go wrong in the making of a case. There's a lot of little places where things can't line up. Um, I compare phones all the time to cars. You know, uh, there's eight cylinders or four cylinders or four score. There's four cores or eight cores. Uh, there's fit and finish. You know, if you look at body gaps, if you look at body panels in a vehicle, and if they don't really line up or if the um, space on one side is different from the other side, then you can tell the work on it wasn't the best. Something similar happens to phones and phone cases. There's fit and finish. You know, there's quality control these things have to go through. And, that is if you go to their website and you look up this exact case that we we're looking at, you want to know what's it made out of. Is it made of silicone? Is it made of uh, polycarbonate? Is it made of thermoplastic polyurethane? Is it made out of some other proprietary blend? God knows what's it made out of. The majority of companies don't have that. They'll tell you it's made out of some 
you know, uh, military grade plastic, you know, or military grade protection. If you go to the website and you go straight away to the material, it sells you. It's made out of thermoplastic polyurethane and it's made out of polycarbonate. Why can't other companies be that clear? Why can't other companies be that transparent? If you guys can recall, actually, uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and put the video up here. Uh, another company sent me a case for review as well, and there wasn't the best. Um, it had some flaws to it. And while I might be someone that reviews cases and phones, the majority of you guys out there are consumers. If you get something from a company and it's not their absolute best, that's gonna be your impression of that company. And it looks like uh, Ghost Tech is firing on all cylinders. And again, you can find this on the website for $5.98. I'm gonna put a link in the description. Make sure you guys comment. Uh, what are your experiences with Ghost Tech? Have you guys bought from them before? Uh, does this remind you of some other brands? Um, what are your thoughts on it? And make sure to also be subscribed so that you all can be entered into the giveaway for the Alcatel Day Tattoo Tablet. The moment I reach 750 subscribers, I will be giving one of these tablets away. Again, all you have to do is make sure to be comment and be subscribed. And as always, thanks for watching.